Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today we're doing another paracord bracelet tutorial. This bracelet was actually sent to me by someone on Facebook, so thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. I always need new ideas. This is not an original bracelet, so I'll leave a link in the description to the original creator. If you have not already, go follow me on Instagram, because I'm almost at 100 followers. I think I'm at like 95 or something. Also, check out the videos. Let me know if you like them. Also, one more quick thing. I just lowered the cost of Paracord on my website. The first five people who order will get free shipping in the US. So if you want to buy Paracord, now would be a good time. So let's get started. For this bracelet, you're gonna need some white cord, some blue cord, and a 15 millimeter buckle. I'll have a link in the description to the white Paracord and the buckle on my website if you want to buy them for me and I'm not sure where I got the blue paracord might have been board paracord so I'll leave a link to wherever I got that paracord from in the description if I find it and you're just gonna want to go ahead and find the center of your blue paracord and run that loop down through the end of the buckle and then pull those two strands through that loop and tighten that You take those two strands and put them down through the other side of the buckle. Make sure obviously the left cord stays on the left and the right cord stays on the right. Then go ahead and try that around your wrist. Leave a little bit of space. The amount that I leave here is probably good. You might want to leave a little bit more than this. I would not do any less than I show here. Then you're gonna take your back right strand and just pull it towards yourself between those two middle strands and off to the right side. Take the end of that strand and pull it up through the back of the buckle. Then pull that down through the loop and tighten that. And you're gonna take your back left strand, pull it between those two middle strands and up towards yourself and then off to the left. Now run that cord up through the back of that buckle. and then down through that loop, tighten that. Try to make sure all those cords are the same length and then pull those four cords down towards the other end of the buckle and then pull those two strands down through that buckle. Once again, try to make sure those four strands are about the same length. And you can just go ahead and put some hemostats over those four cords to hold everything in place. And now you're gonna start your pattern. So you're gonna take your left strand, going over the two left strands, pull it down between the two middle strands and off to the right. It's gonna go over the two left strands and under the two right strands. 
Then you're gonna take your right cord and make sure it goes over the end of that left strand. And then it is gonna go over the two right middle strands and under the two left middle strands. And then off to the left side. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your white cord, find the center of that. And then pull it under kind of all of that stuff and all the strands and then up towards the top there. And then you're gonna pick up those two white strands and pull them over the ends of the blue strands, but make sure they stay under the loops, obviously. And to make things easier, you're just gonna take those two blue strands and kind of pull them up and out of the way. Then go ahead and take your left white strand and pull the end of that down through that loop. Make sure it is going in front of the first part of the white strand. So you're just gonna to wanna to be able to see that loop sideways, if that makes any sense, kind of like it is here. And then take your right strand and pull it down through that blue loop in front of the white strand once again, and then make a loop. And then you're just gonna tighten all of that. You're gonna wanna start by tightening the blue strands a little bit and then pulling them up towards the top. Then tightening them a little more, then removing the hemostats, and then tightening them all the way. And then go ahead and tighten those white strands. When you tighten the white strands, you wanna make sure that they stay on the sides of the blue strands and that they never go in front or behind the blue strands. And when I refer to those blue strands, I mean the four middle blue strands. Go ahead and make sure you hold the back of the white cord in place there and then tighten the white cord. Then go ahead and take your hemostats and make sure you hold down both of the white cords and all four middle strands. And then you do the same thing. So take your left strand and put it down between the two blue middle strands. So going over the left middle strands and under the right middle strands. Then take your right strand and it is gonna go over the three right middle strands and under the three left middle strands. Once again, pull those two blue strands up out of the way. Then make a loop with your left white strand. Go ahead and make a loop with your right white strand. and then tighten all of that up to the top once again. The key to making this bracelet good is obviously consistency like most paracord bracelets, but it is also making sure that you set it up the proper way. So that's why I give the steps on how to pull the blue strands up out of the way and make sure you have the white strands at a certain angle, that kind of thing. Because if you do not do those steps properly, then it becomes very, very easy to make little mistakes with this bracelet that you won't really notice at first until it looks inconsistent when you're finished with it. So that is why I give so many specific instructions with this type of bracelet versus other ones. Then you're gonna do another pattern. I don't know if it's 100% needed for me to explain this one, but it's basically gonna be the same thing. So you're gonna take your left strand, put it down between the middle strands and off to the right side. Take your right strand. Make sure this right strand goes down between the middle strands and off to the left. Pull those two blue strands up and out of the way, making kind of like a little pretzel there, if that makes any sense. If that helps you remember, don't know. Then go ahead and make a loop with that white strand. Once again, make sure when you pull that strand down through the blue loop, it is going in front of itself. The white strand should be in front of the other part of the white strand. And go ahead and do that with the right strand. And then once again, tie in that.
You're gonna start by tightening, tightening the blue cords mainly first, then pulling up to the top and removing the hemostats and tightening it again, and then finish by tightening the white strands. And then go ahead and do those all the way down to the bottom. Try to fit as many as you can. You're gonna take those white strands and you're gonna pull them towards the back of the bracelet. Take your blue strands, make sure they're nice and tight. Then go ahead and take that left blue strand, put it in front of the middle strands, take that right strand, put it over that strand, behind the middle strands, and up through that left loop. Then you want to tighten that, and obviously that is just a regular cobra stitch. Try to make sure when you tighten that it kind of fits in between the end of the bracelet, so where that cow's hitch is, and the pattern. You don't want it to be sticking up or anything. And then you're just going to go to the back of the bracelet and cut that blue strand and singe that. Then go ahead and cut the blue strand and white strand together, and then singe those. And then cut your last strand and singe that. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Victor, for sending me this on Facebook. It is really useful, like I said. And also, like I said, the link to where it was made originally will be in the description if you wanna check that out. Also, last thing, if you have not already, please check out my store. I really appreciate it. I have some pretty cool stuff. I sell cord, and um, if you don't wanna make any of these bracelets yourself, I also sell bracelets. Um, key fobs and uh, one lanyard right now. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.